Hello everybody, I'm Jana from Sydney Visa. We all understand that immigration is a complex and an expensive process. Prior to deciding if you are to go ahead, one must understand the full financial burden of all the stages of the immigration process. This is exactly why in this video I will try to sum up all the expenses that you might incur during your skilled migration. So, I'm going to give you an approximate cost of inquiring a skilled migration visa. I will take you through the entire process using an example of Visa 491. The reason I picked a uh, Visa 491 is because it is a relatively new visa that requires regional uh, state or territory sponsorship and gives you an additional 15 points in your point test. Australian government is funneling overseas migration via this route and we see more and more applicants flavor this particular visa. Obtaining your PR via regional sponsorship, i.e. 491 visa, is a longer and um, uh, as a consequence more expensive process compared to immigration via independent uh, 189 visa, uh, but it's quite similar to the cost of 190. Okay, let's have a look at the eligibility criteria for a regional sponsored visa 491. So, you, first of all, you must be older than 45 at the time of visa application. You must have a positive skill assessment for an occupation on the relevant occupational list. You will need an IELTS certificate or other English test with the minimum score of 6 in all modules. Uh, you will need to gain a minimum of 65 points in your point test and that is inclusive of the points for regional uh, sponsorship. Then you'll need to get this regional sponsorship and uh, once you do, you um, then apply for Visa 491 with the department. Now let's look at the, uh, the cost of each stage. First of all is the skills assessment. So depending on your occupation, there are many organizations in Australia that conduct skill assessment. The largest skill assessor in Australia is VetAssess and it charges $940 per assessment. TRA is the, largest, is the second largest assessor and they charge about uh, $1,000 and they tend to um, assess all the trade nomination, uh, occupations. The financial assessor CPA and IT assessor ACS uh, both will cost $550 for the assessment. Um, so let's say an average, uh, in a, with an average occupation, an average will cost uh, uh, 400 or sorry, $850. It would be an average for your skill assessment fee. So for any skill assessment, you will also need to produce a substantial amount of documents. And if most of them are not in English, you will be looking at the cost of translating these documents. The cost of translation varies significantly and is dependent on the language and the amount of documents and the way you'll be translating them. If you are translating them in Australia with one of the NATI um, accredited translators, then you'll be looking at a minimum, I would say, $500 for document translation. If you are married, it would be wise to complete, complete a skill assessment for your spouse, um, if, of course, the opportunity like this exists. Partner skill assessment can give the main applicant uh, 10 additional points in the point test. And if you're going to do this, basically multiply this stage of your immigration process by two. So yet, so for your partner, the skill assessment will cost the same. Skill assessment doesn't always come back positive. So especially if you decided to create your application yourself without the assistant of the registered migration agent, you might need to factor in the second skill assessment and or appellation to the total cost at this stage. Next is the English test. So if you hold the passport of UK, USA, Ireland, Canada or New Zealand, then it is automatically assumed that you have competent English. That is, you have a minimum required English level, which is equivalent to the IELTS uh, sixes in all modules. But minimum required that competent English gives zero points in your point test. So we advise of the holders of all passports to see IELTS test or equivalent to get the maximum score. As I mentioned, there are a number of English tests that are, ex that are accepted by the department, but they all cost about the same. I believe the cost throughout the world is similar, um, although it might fluctuate depending on the country where you would sit the test. 
To my knowledge, the average cost of the test is between 350 to 400 Australian dollars. If your partner has a passport of UK, USA, Ireland, Canada or New Zealand, then you would automatically get additional 5 points to a point test for partner's English. And there is no need for the partner to sit the exam to get the high mark, since it would make no difference in your point test. Unless, of course, you want to move to um, ACT, to Canberra, but this is a bit of off topic. Uh, if your partner doesn't have above mentioned passport, then it will be best for him or her to complete the test and get a minimum um, score, IELTS score or equivalent IELTS score of sixes in all modules. This means, again, that you would need to multiply the cost of this stage by two. Once you have a skill assessment certificate and English test result, you can submit an expression of interest in a system called Skill Select. This part of the application process is free the department does do doesn't charge you for it. Once the expression of interest has been launched and your point test is calculated, you can commence your search for original nomination. This is not the most expensive stage. The cost of sponsorship nomination ranges from about zero to $300, sort of depending on the state, but it is by far the most difficult stage. Um, different states uh, have different criteria, different requirements, different occupational lists. So it is highly advisable to engage a help of an immigration agent at this stage. Once you have received a nomination from an Australian region, you will be then pretty much automatically, almost within the same day or within 24 hours, be invited by the Department of Immigration to apply for the visa. The department fee is being uh, calculated as follows. So the main applicant will need to pay $4,045 application fee. Um, any additional adult member will get um, will need to pay $2,025 for them. And the child under 18, e the cost is $1,010. Before your visa is granted, uh, you and your family will be invited for a medical examination. Uh, the fee for medical examination uh, really depends on the authorized, inst authorized institution and on the country where it will be conducted. For example, in Russia, uh, it will cost you $300 roughly for an adult um, and between $160 to $250 for a child under 15. So the total approximate cost of acquiring 491 visa for a family of three is uh, roughly about 12,000 Australian dollars, which is just under 10,000 USD. Clearly, this sum doesn't include uh, the financial resources needed for the relocation. I'm talking about flight, um, flights, accommodation and so forth. Also, um, if you enlist of the help of the migration agent, the total cost of the process will be higher. But by having an agent, you potentially save yourself from making unnecessarily and costly mistakes. We announce our prices on our website. I will leave the link to our pricing page, uh, page in the description to this video for you to have a look. Also, it is worth it to highlight that the immigration process is lengthy, which means that all the associated expenses are spread over time. So you don't need to pay this 10,000 um, American dollars upfront. Um, one can only proceed to, to next stage after completing the first stage, the first one. Whether 10,000 USD is a lot or not is the matter of obviously individual opinion. However, if you have a chance of obtaining, obtaining a PR in a tranquil, well-developed country, why not use it? This change doesn't mean that you have to drop everything and relocate immediately. You have a minimum of five years after obtaining your PR visa to decide whether you want to relocate. If you want to assess your chances to obtain a visa to Australia, please click on the link provided uh, below, fill in the questionnaire and we will provide you with your free visa eligibility assessment, absolutely uh, free of charge. This is all for now. Please subscribe to our channel and like the video. Cheers from Down Under. Goodbye.